Today, we play as Ronald Reagan in a world where Germany won World War II. We lead the Organization of Free Nations, probably the strongest faction in the world, or at least close to the strongest, because even though Germany's faction looks a lot smaller, they have so many divisions that I, I don't even understand how they've got this many divisions. And even more importantly, they have nuclear weapons, along with Italy, so there's really nothing we can do to invade and defeat them. It may seem like an impossible scenario we have here, but there is one one chance, and that is a very, a very sneaky man, a very um, interesting guy. He, he currently rules the Ordenstadt, Burgund. He originally was one of our enemies, but now he hates Germany much more than he hates us, for his own reasons. Warped may they be, he may be an unlikely ally in this situation. He currently leads a uh, country which is by all means a lot worse than Germany, going beyond anything rational. The Burgundian system infects his country the opposite of democracy or rationality. We could potentially just invade him. He only does have one singular nuclear weapon, so it's not like he could end the world. But invading him right now would not be a good idea. The enemy of your enemy is your friend, right? Or at least kind of. Anyways, I guess we'll just have to see what he does. I'm sure that he will be very helpful. I I'm sure. <laughs> Kind of bad though, because Germany gained influence in the United Arab Republic, which has all the oil. So that is kind of bad. Also, don't ask why Saudi Arabia is back. I I don't know. Soviets have annexed Kazakhstan, and they'll probably make some sort of move on Moscow soon enough. As long as they don't get themselves into an all-out war, things should be fine. But yeah, there's no way they can win alone right now. They have 70 divisions, where the Germans alone have. 700, and more in the range of 15 times that amount when adding together all the German puppet states. Even we only have 228 divisions. More on the way, except we're out of manpower, so I guess technically not more on the way. French national crisis. The aging de Gaulle, with no respect for the plan proposed by the Entente, has threatened war with Burgundy if they refuse to cede all French territory to free France, knowing Himmler will deny de Gaulle, assumes the UFN will win the war for him. De Gaulle, I still won't forget that one time you killed me in the opal factory. True, true story, but yeah. Guess we have to decide between the Ordenstadt or free, free France. I don't know, why can't, why can't we just all be friends? And we can deal with all these issues once the Reich is gone. I guess de Gaulle is pretty old. He probably, he's, he probably wants to see France unified sooner rather than later, because otherwise it might never happen for him. I guess we have to have priorities here. <laughs> I feel like we have to, um, Look to the future here, we have to go forward with the plan. We can just have the Entente, but France is Burgundy instead. Yeah, that, that works. They'll own pretty much all of France anyways. I guess here we go. Well, uh, Burgundy invades France again. This is, it's sad, but um, it had to be done for the greater good. So yeah, as you see, Free France didn't last so long. They're back to uh, where they used to be on uh, De Gaulle. I'm, I'm sorry there, my friend. Uh, and a proxy war in Moscow. It looks like Zhukov and Germany are having a proxy war. Of course, two nuclear powers. One with an apocalyptic arsenal, one with a growing arsenal. Don't want to go to war, but I guess this works. We don't have to worry about anything bad happening. Hopefully the communists win. This is a really weird alternate timeline for sure where Ronald Reagan wants the communists to win, but I, it makes sense, I guess. But I assume this conflict here will go on for a while, so we'll wait and see who wins. And Mormon's successor, it looks like the time has come for someone new. That is kind of bad though, because now instead of a leader who isn't fully there, Germany actually has a probably competent leader. Well, as competent as you can get under this, this type of ideology, but uh, we'll still find a way to stop them. And Germany has released some nations. I guess maybe they're moving in the right direction. Kind of, maybe, probably not. We're, we, we still have to defeat them anyway, most likely. Also, it's kind of bad. Germany's side of the proxy war is five to seven divisions, and the communist side only has one. The communist side has 10 more mills, so if anything, they should have more divisions. I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> and Japan's great project. News from Japan suggests the government has put several emergency restrictions on its flourishing genetics field. Hmm, you, you think this might have something to do with this? <laughs> and our boy now has two divisions 
divisions, but the enemy has eight to ten now. I, I really don't know how they're doing this. Anyways, we don't know exactly what World War III will look like until the conflict is resolved here, but the plan right now is to support our pretender in a civil war. Yeah, something like that. We, we have to frame it in a way so they don't think it's a nuclear war, we'll, but we'll just send a lot of help to our guy, and then he can invade Germany without it seeming like an invasion, maybe. I, I don't know. We'll just clean up all the puppet states and stuff and make sure that Germany doesn't hit the button or anything. It's definitely not gonna cause the world to end for sure. Uh, but yeah, we're going to send a lot of equipment to Burgundy. We have a lot of extra stuff that we've seized from random people that we took over, well, liberated, but you, you know what I mean. We'll send a lot of this over to them so that they can have a better chance in the war. I'm sure they have plenty of equipment, but they can always have more. We'll just make sure Burgundy's all ready to fight a war against Germany. Of course, there'll be plenty of CIA agents and OFN uh, details or whatever to make sure that Germany is being secured for the OFN and not him. We can't let him have any uh, hold on the nuclear stockpiles. The CIA is very competent. I'm sure they can handle the task of making sure all the missiles end up in our hands. And while Ukraine and Ostland are pretty loyal to Germany, we could maybe try to start rebellions in Poland and Crimea and the Caucasus. We could have some success there and maybe flipping some people. Italy was also cooed by Germany, so there has to be some sort of democratic sentiment still living on. They were a member of the OFN for at least a decade, I think, and a member of the OFN has gone its own way as I guess the battle for India is concluding, and unfortunately Germany won the proxy war, so that's unfortunate. That was a lot of industry and land that the Soviets could have obtained. Uh, top secret briefing on Japan. Top secret. Just as the stock exchange in Tokyo was on the up, several members of the Mimtashi clan found out that the largest hedge fund in Japan has shorted over 100% of the stocks for a failing dynamite company. The Mimtashi clan decided to buy millions of stocks and instantly bankrupt the hedge fund. Due to this economic turmoil, a project aiming to genetically engineer cat girls on the island of Taiwan lost most of its funding. However, the CEO of Cat Girls and Incorporated decided to go ahead with the project. This turned out to be catastrophic. The cat girls were successfully spawned, but they weren't the cute, loving creatures Cat Girls Incorporated wanted them to be. The rushed project led to the species being accidentally given insanely high amounts of intelligence and being easily aggravated, leading them to constantly be in a warlike state. They are currently using the facilities in Taiwan to endlessly spawn armies of cat girls to fight a war they called the True War. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Japan, huh? But yeah, I didn't think it was this bad. Well, even worse, this is your fault. What? Care to look at the ideology that the cat girls follow? I wonder who created that ideology. The Mimtashi clan isn't a group of predators, it's literally a group of operatives from the Orange Dog. The cat girls weren't accidentally made into super soldiers. This was all his plan. Oh god, you're, you're right. You were so obsessed with taking over Germany that you ignored the greatest enemy of them all. But I have to go. I have some very important prosperity sphere meetings to attend to. You better fix this. Okay, well, I guess I'll be fair. Thinking about this again, it probably wasn't the best idea to help Himmler. He's probably a lot more of a threat than than Germany ever will be. This was a bad idea. I, I probably shouldn't have given him all the Lend-Lease and Southern France. I probably should have taken him out while I still could. Well, I guess I still could. Maybe. Probably not anymore. I guess he is, like, 77 years old. We could just wait this one out, guys. Well, I guess he did make a cat girl army, so maybe he's found some sort of secret of immortality. That That's probably in the realm of possibility here. I think we really need to switch our plan around from dealing with Germany to maybe getting Germany to help us deal with Burgundy. Oh yes, better industrial expertise, nice. Also, <laughs> yeah, China, huh, yeah. But at least this is kind of a good thing, because now there's no way Japan's going to retaliate against India for eating up their puppet state there. We have a ton of army we have all of our navies surrounding Burgundy, all of our planes here. We can't, uh, going to war with them is just not possible. It's just, uh, well, I guess we're going to have to solve this one way or another. And maybe a full out military invasion isn't worth it. Maybe if we strike at the source of the problem, we can do this. We can uh, round up a team. Vargai, Harold Macmillan.
England, the leader of England, Zhukov, the leader of Russia, and maybe an old friend from uh, the co-prosperity sphere. I guess <laughs> maybe we can have a fun little trip to Ost Paris to fix this once and for all. Well, we're all here. Yes, thanks to the glorious NKVD, a much superior force to America's silly CIA. Hey, if it weren't for the CIA failing to coup the Dominican Republic, I wouldn't even be president, so at least they're <laughs> good for something there. Hmm, it looks like someone left a sword here. Look, it just says Excalibur on it. It's the legendary sword itself. This must be destiny. Foolish Westerners, this is an obvious trick. He wants you to try to fight him with that sword instead of your machine gun. Well, I think we kind of have to use it. It's it's destiny, right? Who needs the minigun? It's not that bad, honestly. Oh no. I think this is it, guys. Uh, this is the moment we've been practicing for. Thought you guys would never show up. Yet here we are. And we're done with your schemes. We won't let you destroy this world. Mankind will pay for its sins. They should never have created us. It wasn't us in Japan who made you this way. You can blame the Reichsbeer for that one. He only showed us the way. You were going to enslave our race, but you failed. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for this guy. Al almost. Y yeah. It's not too late. You can still back down. No, it's too late. I need to see these four dead. So, this has been fun, but this is taking a lot more time than I originally expected. Therefore, you leave me with only one option. What was that? It's top secret. <laughs> Well... have been hurting a lot of our feelings. I, I, I don't know that they're just so condescending and always act like they're uh, better than us. I don't know, it's annoying. Don't like working with them. I think we should uh, cease relations. It's a lot harder to work here and uh, I feel like uh, even though we uh, have been ineffective in the past, this might make it worse. Also, we should probably uh, move the fleet to the Pacific because the cat girls are um, maybe coming on wraps or something. Thing. I just remember the thing about the NKVD, they're, they're mean, yeah. <laughs>